Unlock the secrets of habit formation and take control of your life. It's time to make or break your habits. Welcome back to our channel, dear viewers. Today, we're delving into a fascinating realm, the science of habit formation. Habits shape our lives, affecting productivity, happiness, and overall well-being. Understanding how habits are formed and how we can make or break them is essential for personal growth and self-improvement. In this video, we'll explore the psychology and science behind habit formation and provide actionable tips on how to develop good habits and eliminate bad ones. Let's dive right in. Body, what are habits and how do they form? First things first, what exactly are habits and how do they form? Habits are the often overlooked yet incredibly powerful drivers of our daily lives. They are the routines and behaviors that we perform almost automatically in response to specific cues or triggers. Whether it's biting your nails when you're nervous, hitting the gym every morning, or reaching for that mid-afternoon snack, habits are an integral part of human behavior. The process of forming a habit typically follows a three-step loop, often referred to as the habit loop. This loop consists of three key elements, cue, routine, and reward. Number one. Q. This is the initial trigger that sets the habit in motion. It could be a specific time of day, a particular place, an emotional state, or even an action. For example, the smell of freshly brewed coffee in the morning can serve as a cue for your daily caffeine fix. Number 2. Routine. The routine is the actual behavior or action that you engage in. It's what we commonly associate with a habit. In the case of the morning coffee example, the routine would be brewing a cup of coffee and savoring it. Number three, reward. The reward is the positive reinforcement or satisfaction that you gain from completing the routine. It's what makes your brain recognize the habit as a worthwhile activity. In the coffee scenario, the reward might be the feeling of alertness and the comforting taste of the beverage, the habit loop and neurological aspect. Now let's take a closer look at the neurological aspect of habit formation. The habit loop is deeply ingrained in our brain, specifically in the basal ganglia. This part of the brain plays a crucial role in motor functions, emotions, and habit formation. When we repeat a specific behavior consistently, the neural pathways associated with that behavior become stronger and more efficient. Furthermore, our brain releases neurotransmitters like dopamine during the routine phase, creating a sense of pleasure and reinforcing the habit loop. Over time, these reinforced pathways make the habit more automatic and require less conscious effort to perform. The power of keystone habits. Some habits are more influential than others. These are known as keystone habits. Keystone habits have the power to start a chain reaction, influencing other areas of your life. For instance, regular exercise can be a keystone habit that leads to improved overall well-being, better productivity, and healthier eating habits. Understanding and harnessing the power of keystone habits can be a game changer in creating a positive shift in your life. How to form good habits. Now that we've laid the foundation, let's talk about how you can intentionally create and cultivate good habits. Developing positive habits can be a transformative journey and it all starts with a few key principles. Number one, start small and specific. The first rule of habit formation is to start small and be specific. Rather than aiming for a broad, vague goal like getting in shape, break it down into manageable, concrete actions. For example, if you want to improve your fitness, you might start with a goal of going for a 15-minute walk every morning before work. By setting a small and specific goal, you make it easier to stay focused and measure your progress. Once this habit becomes ingrained, you can gradually increase the intensity or duration of your walks. Number two. Set clear triggers. Habits are often triggered by specific cues or situations. To form a new habit, you need to associate it with a clear trigger. This could be a time of day, a particular place, an event, or even an existing habit. For instance, if you're trying to establish a reading habit, you might make it a rule to read for 20 minutes right before bedtime. The act of getting into bed becomes the trigger for your reading habit. Number three, consistency is key. Consistency is the backbone of habit formation. To reinforce the habit loop, you must repeat the routine consistently. This means committing to your chosen habit daily or at a frequency that suits your goal. 
The more you repeat the behavior, the more automatic it becomes. In the case of our reading habit, if you miss a night, don't get discouraged. Simply get back on track the next evening. Consistency over time is what truly solidifies a habit. Number four, reward yourself. Our brains are wired to seek rewards, and this principle can work in your favor when forming habits. After completing your habit, whether it's a workout, a study session, or a creative project, reward yourself in some way. It could be as simple as acknowledging your accomplishment, treating yourself to a small indulgence, or tracking your progress in a habit journal. The reward serves as positive reinforcement, making your brain associate the habit with a sense of accomplishment and pleasure. Over time, this strengthens the habit loop, making it easier to maintain. Number five, track your progress. Keeping track of your habit formation journey can be a powerful motivator. Use a habit tracker, a journal, or a habit forming app to record your daily progress. Seeing your streak of successful habit repetitions can be incredibly satisfying and push you to keep going, even on days when motivation wanes. How to break bad habits. Breaking bad habits can be challenging, but it's an essential step on the path to personal growth and self-improvement. Let's explore effective strategies for freeing yourself from detrimental habits. Number one, identify triggers and replace routines. The first step in breaking a bad habit is understanding what triggers it. What situations, emotions, or cues lead you to engage in the undesirable behavior? Once you've identified the triggers, focus on replacing the routine with a more positive and constructive alternative. For instance, if you're trying to quit smoking and you find that stress triggers your smoking habit, replace it with a healthier stress relief routine such as deep breathing exercises or a short walk. Number two, seek support and accountability. Breaking a bad habit is often easier when you have someone to support and hold you accountable. Share your goal with a friend, family member, or mentor who can provide encouragement and check in on your progress. This support system can be instrumental in keeping you on track, especially during challenging moments. Number three, visualize success and consequences. Take time to visualize the positive outcomes of breaking the bad habit. Imagine how your life will improve, your health will flourish, and your confidence will soar. Simultaneously, visualize the negative consequences of continuing the habit, such as its impact on your health, relationships, or overall well-being. This mental exercise can be a powerful motivator, reminding you of why you're committed to breaking the habit in the first place. Number four, gradual reduction and replacement. Sometimes, cold turkey isn't the most effective approach. Consider gradually reducing the habit instead. For example, if you want to cut down on your daily sugar intake, start by reducing the amount of sugar you add to your coffee or tea. Over time, you can continue to reduce until you've successfully eliminated the habit. Additionally, replace the bad habit with a healthier alternative. If you're trying to quit excessive snacking, keep nutritious snacks readily available to satisfy your cravings. Understanding the science behind habit formation equips us with the knowledge and tools to shape our behavior and transform our lives. Whether you want to develop good habits or break bad ones, the key lies in understanding the habit loop and using it to your advantage. Remember, change takes time and effort, but with determination and the right strategies, you can achieve your goals and create a life filled with positive and empowering habits. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more insightful content. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay motivated and keep evolving.